Hello and good afternoon. Musical education. I invite new, young, ambitious composers to the discussion about the need of education in music. Feel free to put your comments below. If subject interests you, subscribe, because there will be much more on it in the coming weeks. Education in music is a hot subject on YouTube. There are dozens or more videos and even more opinions. So, do we need education in music? Guys, this is a wrong question. What we really need is knowledge and experience. Let's analyze this claim by confronting two legends, John Williams and Hans Zimmer. It is beyond discussion, both possess the knowledge, but is it the same knowledge? Let's begin with education. John Williams, UCLA, Juilliard School of Music, Eastman School of Music, private studies in composition, orchestrator, jazz pianist, film session pianist, most famous field composer to date. Hans Zimmer, two hours or one week of home piano schooling, depends on the interview you've watched, popped up on the media scene with clip video killed the radio star by the Bugles, and then pretty much nothing. Few rock or punk groups, nothing of bigger learning consequence. All knowledge he accumulated over decades comes from working with other composers like Stanley Myers, and then on his own, of course. One of Zimmer's talents is the talent for finding good co-composers. Accidentally, almost all of them are musically educated, like Harry Gregson Williams, who has conservatory finished. So Zimmer might have learned a few tricks here as well. As an instrumentalist or pianist, Hans Zimmer has the rudimentary skills, few notes, few fingers. However, supposedly, he's been recognized as the second most famous film composer. So where is the difference? Both are famous, loved and rich. Let's examine a few important points. Williams was ready for use in much shorter time than Zimmer. Learning on the go is usually much longer, fuller of errors and mistakes, and almost never complete in its fundamental content. Williams mastered music matter like no other both in composing and understanding what a specific instrument can and can't play. Zimmer admits that after all the time he spent in trade, working with partition is still more difficult for him than working with Cubase bars, and that he still has doubts if what he composed is playable. Williams's orchestrations are like a Swiss watch, precise, smart, showing an intimate knowledge of the nature of the sound, leaving no room for creative interpretations, and done by Williams himself. Zimmer's orchestrations are looser, simpler, less precise, and always done by a hired orchestrator. For those of you who can read partitions, I strongly recommend comparison between Hans Zimmer's Gladiator's partition and John Williams's Harry Potter and Soldier's Stone partition. This can be a very interesting lesson. Zimmer is aware of the consequence of his lack of education, but he tries to make it to his advantage. In one of the interviews, he said, to compose as I do, those educated will have to unlearn what they have learned. Williams, however, never had to defend what he does. Coming back to the root question. If we compare the development path of John Williams and Hans Zimmer, we will come to the simple conclusion. Education is one of the ways of getting the knowledge. You can get it a long and possibly incomplete way like Zimmer, or in short and complete way like Williams. So if you can afford it, get educated. It will speed up your market readiness, will allow you to focus on creating the music instead of wasting time on technicalities. Is it even playable? will make you feel comfortable with yourself and your talent. If you cannot afford it, wait for my next video where I will try to help you overcome this obstacle. Finally, I suspect that when you watched me discussing this subject, you might have to come to the conclusion that I adore John Williams and, let's say, adore Les Hans Zimmer. Wrong! But answer is more complicated. For me, Williams is a master, whom I still learn from, whose mastership of musical matter impresses me immensely, whose musical ideas I'm jealous of, whose tunes I can recognize in other composers' works after first two notes, but I do not blindly like anything he composed. Not only Williams' music resonates with me, some even steps on my nerves, but this is the work of the master nonetheless. Zimmer, on the other hand, 
in my eyes, irrelatively far from a master I would like to learn from, but his music resonates with me much more often than Williams's. I noticed this fact about two decades ago and spent some time to analyze this phenomenon. What I have discovered observing also other people's reactions is that Zimmer's music has encoded in it what is common to human race, can primal rhythm and harmonies that reach most of us, impacting our subliminal us. In other simpler words, I think that Zimmer's music comes through our guts, while Williams's music comes more from our brains. What's your opinion? If you would like to share your opinion with us, feel free to put it in the comments. I would be very interested to continue discussion about it. As for now, ciao.